Hello there, my Aries Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Aries. What is up with your energy here? Enter one step forward and one step onward. Okay. What is this about with you? Aries, some of you could be going through some sort of a religious type uh, transformation. I think you're looking at things from a completely different perspective. Some of you in regards to relationships or partnerships, I feel like you're, uh, you could definitely be single. There's a balancing out energy with you, uh, Aries. This is going to be very interesting with you. I feel like you come from a, a situation that you were really sort of guarded on. So, Aries, you could find yourself praying a lot or looking at things from a different perspective. This is interesting. I almost feel like you avoided being taken advantage of, Aries. So, take what's yours and leave what's not. There's the Capricorn energy. What's around this energy with you? The Eight of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, this retrograde is going to be very interesting. <laughs> my, oh, my. There's the Three of Wands. There's the King of Wands. There's the Magician energy. Oh, in regards to relationships or partnerships. Mm. I feel like you're happily single. Those of you that focus on yourself, focus on your work, uh, you avoided a sort of very manipulative uh, situation. Some of you definitely in regards to your heart. I don't feel like it's romantic uh, vibes with you, though, Aries. I feel like this is like a uh, sort of different type of uh, manipulation. There's the four of wands. There's the six of cups. There's the five of cups. And there's the five of swords. I don't feel like there's a lot of love energy around you, Aries. Some of you, in regards to a relationship or partnership, someone could definitely have been taking advantage of you with the Five of Cups there and the Five of Swords. Those of you that pulled focus back on yourself, you avoided that sort of uh, stuck, stagnant energy. Uh, you avoided someone who was trying to manipulate you and play with your energy. Scorpio, the Hierophant, King of Swords, Queen of Wands, there you are, Aries, there's the Seven of Swords, above all that is the Ten of Wands. Ooh, you avoided a very messy energy, very messy and manipulative energy here, Aries. Work, love, life vibes, I don't know, whatever the fuck this is for you. Those of you that stayed focused, pulled all that time, energy, and attention back on yourself. You're a very optimistic person here, Aries. That's what uh, makes the difference. So I feel like you were sort of ahead of the vibes on this. Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords over here, the Four of Cups vibe. There was some sort of manipulation energy around you. Maybe for some of you it was romantic. Maybe for some of you this was like a, a interpersonal relationships or partnerships. Damn, Aries. Oh, glass box. All eyes on you. Scrutiny, and entrapment, and attention. Oh. Ah, this is like retrograde vibes, though. So, I think you had to go sort of... Uh, you had to think about something. The, you could have did a sort of introspective look at yourself here, Aries. Mm. My, oh, my. Aries, Aries, Aries. This is a very stuck, stagnant energy. Who can you trust in this sort of vibe, Aries, right? The Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords. There's the Capricorn. There's the Queen of Cups. 
There's the Judgment energy. There's the Fool energy. There's the Page of Swords. There's the Five of Pentacles. To the Empress energy. Looking at things from a different perspective. Damn, maybe this is in regards with work with you. Uh, learning, growing, understanding something here. Damn, Aries. Damn, Aries. Over the Five of Swords, you got the Page of Swords energy. So, this sort of glass box energy around you. I mean, if someone was watching you, someone was watching them watching you. So, maybe in regards to a relationship or partnership, I feel like you avoided this energy. You really had to look at something and think about something. It is good retrograde vibes. So, Aries, those of you that sort of looked at yourself, those of you that did your shadow work, especially in regards to uh, interpersonal relationships or partnerships, you avoided this stuck stagnant energy. I don't think this was even sort of your vibe to begin with. So, you know what I mean? I don't feel like there's a lot of coincidence energy around you either, uh, Aries. <laughs> Ooh. The pentacle energy here, this could have been work energy with you. You were dealing with somebody who was very messy in the fact that they were five of cups, five of swords, and then seven of swords energy. So, damn. For some of you, Aries, this could have been a person that come in really charismatic, could have been very flirty, uh, a very manipulative energy, but they kind of use that vibe on everybody. But you avoided an energy because if someone was watching them, someone was watching you watching them or however the fuck that goes. The page of swords over the five of swords. It, it's not a very positive vibe. It's not a positive vibe. So it's an opportunistic energy. I think you avoided it. I think you avoided it. This could also be astrological with you, uh, Aries, in regards to your Aquarius placement. Afterlife, where are we going now? Transition, transformation, and rebirth. Looking at things differently. Hmm. I mean, fuck Aries. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely just be astrological with you. Keep trusting your intuition. That Eight of Swords there with that Eight of Pentacle vibes. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. There's the Ten of Cups. There's the Strength Energy. There's the Five of Wands. So whatever Crosswatcher vibe you got around you, Aries, is going through some conflict of their own. You're dealing with someone who is very, very messy. With the, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, the uh, Five of Wands, and the Five of Cups. This Three of Cups energy, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Ooh. This is like way too many cooks in the kitchen, way too many sort of energies around. Over the Nine of Cups is the Four of Swords to the Two of Pentacles. Someone could definitely have been making a lot of empty promises. Damn. Aries. I mean, what the fuck?
Is this astrological with you? This could have just been astrological. So, damn Aries, watch your favorite astrologer. There could be a switch up in your moon nodes. Um, Aries, I don't feel like you're really looking at anything as a nine of cups accomplishment. So, if you're happily single, Aries, kind of feel that vibe. There is way too much manipulation here. But the Page of Swords energy has the Five of Wands energy around it. So, damn. Those of you that focused on the work and didn't get em emotionally involved or attached to an energy. You're going to be very grateful and thankful that you did. There's like a... I don't know. A, a situation, an opportunity wasn't what it was promised. But who was making the offer and bringing this opportunity to you anyway? You chose to sort of do your own thing. I really don't feel like you tapped into this energy. So you really trusted your intuition and instincts on something here. So, there's not a damn thing wrong with staying single. Sometimes y'all just need to learn to just sit your ass down, right? 13. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. That's the Scorpio energy. So, in your case, a missed opportunity is actually uh, a good opportunity. Something made you think. Something made you uh, sit down and sort of uh, look at yourself. There's just like, with all this external energy around you, there's just like, there's so much going on that, uh, you know, it would have been far too much work, far too much energy to put forth. And really, what was that sort of Nine of Cups opportunity with you anyway? So, were you dealing with somebody who was making promises that you knew they really couldn't fulfill any fucking way? Yeah, look at that. There's the Ace of Swords. If you have strong Aquarius placement anywhere in your chart, I feel like that Aquarius energy sort of guided you along here. Damn Aries. I don't, I don't feel like this is romantic. So even if someone was sort of flirting or coming on sort of uh, like they were interested, I don't think there's really a whole lot to even that. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer, uh, Aries. Breathing force, fill the earth below your feet. Nature, grounding, energy, and balance. Cold lands. Learn how to keep yourself warm. Abandonment challenges and aloofness. Ooh. I feel like you were smart enough and wise enough to realize that someone was just going to leave you out in the cold anyway. This could just be an inner journey with you. Some sort of inner sort of awakening within you. Uh, Aries. Aries. I feel like there's so much energy around you, but it's not like a, it's not a peace, love, and light type vibe. So maybe this is you having to look at things from a different perspective as well. Maybe in regards to relationships, partnerships. There's like just way too much. There's way too much. It's not like a, a very positive sort of energy. So, this is like a missed opportunity. Those of you, if a nine of cups or ten of cups, ten of pentacle relationship or partnership, someone just kept making promises. But they weren't really promises they were ever planning on fulfilling. Someone could have been making you believe that this opportunity was far more important for you or really uh, all that about you. In order to achieve this, you got the Six of Cups. So this could have been an ex-energy wanting to come back in. 
Uh, this could be familial with you. Oh, take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't. Those of you that pulled focus back on yourself. Yeah, I feel like you missed this energy. This is almost who can you trust or uh, be very mindful moving forward in regards to relationships or partnerships with the Ace of Swords energy there. You need to be asking a lot of questions. You need to be very inquisitive uh, in regards to romantic relationships or partnerships. This could simply be astrological with you too. Hmm. You're feeling things. You had to, you looked at something. So, damn, you could be just sort of waxing nostalgic here on past relationships or partnerships, learning, growing, understanding. Uh, So those of you Aries who are happily single, those of you Aries, if you're dating, you're asking a lot of questions. You're paying a lot of attention. Um, you're looking at things differently. You're looking at things differently. I think that brings about this sort of positive change up with you in regards to relationships or partnerships. I feel like you had a lot of broken promises, a lot of empty promises. Some of you, I feel like someone was trying to sell you on their dream, making you believe that it was your dream. But it sort of switched everything up for you. Maybe your moon placement, you could have a Piscean moon here. I definitely feel like this Aquarius uh, influx really brought about a change for you. You could be coming across as a little cold and distant. But uh, you're sort of keeping all that sort of energy to yourself. So, this is like you know how to dress for colder weather, right? Wearing different layers. So, as far as your emotional connections are right now, you are definitely probably rather standoffish. Um, you're keeping that sort of energy to yourself you are aries right so damn you're you're being very mindful of who you sort of give that warmth to astrological with you this could just be an introspective energy with you so you got the king of swords vibes up there so if you're talking this out or working this out right i think you're looking at things from a completely different perspective the Five of Wands, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, and Five of Cups. I mean, that's a fucked up energy. Anyway you go. So, damn. You're feeling good. That Four of Swords. You're feeling good. So, whatever this sort of energy is with you. Some of you could have changed your perspective on something and looked at things differently. Uh, and that brought about a, a switch up with you. This could be work vibes with you. I mean, this doesn't have to be romantic. Not everything is romance-based, right? Some of you, this could be in regards to your working energy. I feel like the outcome is good vibes with you. Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. So, in regards to relationships or partnerships, keep doing this sort of work on yourself. Because it really is working out for you. It is a very introspective energy, so, you know, take your time with something. And for fuck's sake, don't be so hard on yourself. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer, because this could just be astrological with you. They have that Knight of Pentacles. You could be in this energy for a while. So now's the time to sort of keep doing the work. Keep focusing on what's important to you. Man, Aries. It's good retrograde energy. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Because uh, Aquarius, some of you could have some astrology sort of uh, uh, 
counteracting within itself. So there could be some sort of transiting going on with you. Uh, that's very interesting. In regards to relationships or partnerships, I mean, what is important to you? I almost feel like everyone makes you think that their dream is your, your dream. So that could be something that sort of uh, changes things up for you. So you could be having to decide what the fuck that Nine of Cups is for you. Especially in regards to relationships or partnerships. So how much of yourself do you change in regards to your relationships or partnerships? Is it your goals in regards to the relationship or partnership? Or do you focus on achieving someone else's goals in regards to relationships or partnerships? But whatever that sort of energy is, there's never like completion with something. So I feel like a lot of empty promises, a lot of sort of, uh, a lot of flirting, but no dating. A lot of uh, offers of raises, but nothing really sort of considered, right? I mean, I don't know, Aries, this feels far more astrological with you. So if that's not your thing, maybe just watch an astrology reading. You can get your chart for free online and see how that sort of placement is with you. I like this for you. So keep working it out. Keep talking it out. This is interesting. It is retrograde vibe. So you know what? Uh, if you're interested in staying single, stay single. I feel like relationships and partnerships around you, there needs to be far more clarity. And this could just be astrological with you. The Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords to the Five of Wands, There's that's just way too much going on there. Way too much energy. Definitely take your time working this out. I feel like everyone sells you on their dream. Or they make you think that their dream is your dream. So this could have something to do with this sort of moon energy with you. Uh, some of you, your moon nodes could have switched up here on you, Aries. Ah, this is this is a very intense energy. But it's a very reflective energy as well. So damn, keep doing the work. 34 goes to 7. You are perfectly imperfect. Again, with that sort of Aquarius energy with you. So maybe you have Aquarius placement strong in your chart. Maybe your Aquarius moon or an Aquarius rising. 15. Fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. That's the Capricorn energy. I feel like you leave all that energy behind you. Because there's so much of that. But damn. I, I don't feel like it's your energy. I don't feel like that's the energy that you like to partake in. Damn Aries. This could simply be astrological. So take what's yours, Aries. I feel like you avoid this energy. Especially those of you that sort of, uh, that's doing the work, looking at something differently. Because I don't think you're dating. I don't think this has anything to do with romance. So you turn down an offer, you turn down an opportunity, and now you're looking at things differently. With the Six of Cups vibe here, so those of you, if you got out of a relationship or partnership or didn't go into a relationship or partnership, you could be seeing now what you avoided. This is making smart choices with you. This is a lot of stagnation on your part as well. So it's really good retrograde energy. I feel like you're growing, learning, and understanding. And I don't really feel like you're talking a whole fucking lot about it either, Aries. With that sort of Piscean moon vibe here. Over top of all that is that Ace of Pentacles. You're very grounded and focused. Damn. 
Aries, for some of you, watch your favorite astrologer. This could be astrology sort of coming in and uh, uh, creating this interesting vibe with you. I like it because you're going to come through looking at things in a different sort of perspective. So if you're looking in regards to relationships or partnerships, talking it out, working it out, looking at things from a different perspective, that's going to change everything for you moving forward. Because I don't feel like this energy is you. I feel like you're just sort of there, right? I don't want to say you're like there in your feelings, but some of you could really be looking at things and sort of going through the vibes. I feel like you missed an opportunity. So in retroflection, some of you are probably like, whew. So, Damn. Take what's yours, Aries. Leave what the fuck is it? Some of you, this could just be astrological with you. So if you're feeling that need to just sort of sit down, some of you could be very reflective in regards to your relationships or, or partnerships, looking at things. Some of you, grateful and thankful. You didn't bring that sort of messy energy into your life. Damn. There's a lot of stagnant energy, though, Aries, so... You know, get comfortable. Just focus on you. Mm. You want a song? Aries, what's the song for you? What, what is the song for you? Don't stop believing, Journey. There's that butterfly energy. So this is a very transformative energy with you. Definitely could be astrological. And then you got respect. Aretha Franklin at the bottom. Damn Aries. Now take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't. I feel like you avoided this energy. So in retroflection, looking back in retrospection, those of you that's talking this out and working this out, you're going to understand... Uh, you made a good decision. Some of you, this is just uh, astrology with you. It's not negative. So whatever you're sort of being driven to do right now, uh, Aries, stay focused on that. Some of you, it's sit your ass down. Uh, I don't think there's anything you need to do here. Definitely trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Aries, for some of you, in regards to your readings, with that Five of Wands, Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, if there's like cross-watcher energy on your readings, some of you don't sort of take that vibe in. Uh, Aries, if you're cross-watching readings, right? Be mindful of that energy. I feel like you're happily single doing your own fucking thing here. Some of you, those of you that sort of doing that nine of cups, thinking about what your opportunities are, thinking about what it is you are interested in, you could be pulling more focus back on you. If you're interested in relationships or partnerships, kind of looking at how you can bring that energy uh into a reality for you because i like the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles so definitely be mindful of cross watcher energy aries and definitely watch your favorite astrologer because some of this could just be astrology so mm. take what yours aries leave what the fuck isn't There's a lot of positive energy with you. There's optimism with you on this. So stay focused on the positive here. Good luck. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, Aries. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck is it. Some of you, this could just be sort of cross-watcher energy around you. Some of you, it's astrological. So you know you. Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're just doing the work you need to do and sort of focusing in on yourself. Mm. 
Ring the bell, Aries, if you were ever so inspired to. I like this for you. Take your time. Good luck. God bless, Aries. Peace, love, and light.